Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I praise you. For everything that comes to mind and things I've forgotten about Jesus in my life, I thank you. For the privilege of being called your child, for the privilege of being baptized into your family, for your love, Jesus, the love I see every day around me and all the people I meet who show me love, and especially for the love which you showed me by dying on the cross for me, and for the love that you show me in inviting me to come and spend time here with you, ever present this simple piece of bread in the Blessed Sacrament. Thank you, Jesus, for your love for me and for my family and all those I know and all those I meet. For all joining here at this time, we ask your blessing, Jesus. Pour out your graces and blessings on all of us as we hear you speak to us. Welcome, my dearest friend. I have been waiting for you. And I'm so happy you have decided to spend time with me. What joy and comfort it brings to my sacred heart to have you prepared to leave everything else and spend these moments with me. I will truly reward you in a measure utterly beyond your greatest expectation. My heart goes out to my suffering children. You are suffering people. I am here to alleviate the miseries of my children. Do not be afraid. Lift up your misery and your suffering to me. Allow me to love you with a love that is endless and pure. It is only my love that can satisfy all your needs. Be at peace, my loved one. I will never let you down or abandon you. 
At times you feel I am not answering your prayer, not that nothing seems to be happening. If only you could trust me, my children. Believe me, I am in absolute and total control. Believe me, I love you with a total and unconditional love. Believe in me. Believe in my love. Believe in my power. I cannot speak to you enough of my love. I love you with all my immensity and I will never ever leave you orphans. Let me caress the wounds in your spirit. My touch, my caress brings healing. Let me cover you with my precious blood, my blood which is my love poured out, cleanses and purifies you. I have so many graces to bestow on my children, but many refuse to come to receive, to be healed. Will you go and speak to them? May I use you to reach them? Amen. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not ask more bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. I will show God's salvation to the upright. But how can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips? You who despise my law and throw my words to the winds. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's salvation to the upright. You do this, and should I keep silence? Do you think that I am like you? A sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, and I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's salvation to the upright. Our reading tonight is taken from St. Mark's Gospel. One day, when John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, some people came and said to Jesus, Why is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of fasting while the bridegroom is still with them. As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they could not think of fasting. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, and then on that day they will fast. 
No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old, old cloak. If he does, the patch pulls away from it, the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. And anybody puts, and nobody puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and the skins too. No, new wine, fresh skins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, we thank you for your word. We ask you to help us to bring your word to others. We ask you to help us, Jesus, to be the new wine, to be refreshed by our time here with you, and to bring your word to the ends of the earth. Jesus, you said to Peter, Satan has asked for you to sift you all like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may never fail. Peter ran in search of you at the news of your resurrection. Today I find you, my risen Saviour, truly present in the Blessed Sacrament, whole and entire body, blood, soul and divinity, with the very power of the resurrection flowing from the hidden glory of your Eucharistic Self. Help me, Jesus, to resist all temptations from the world, the flesh, the devil. I am weak, but you are strong. With childlike confidence, I lean on you, counting on the omnipotent strength of the Blessed Sacrament. 
In your Eucharistic love, restore me in hope. Confirm me solid in faith. Strengthen me in charity and establish me in your holy will that I may live the gospel, the whole gospel, in the whole of my life. Teach me to die to self and self-love that I may live more fully in you, with you, and for you. Amen.
Jesus, I place before you tonight all people who feel unloved in the world, whether children, elderly, people of all backgrounds, anybody, Jesus, who feels unloved, I place them before you and I ask you to cover them with your graces and your power and help them to know that they are truly loved by you. Especially for families tonight, we pray. We ask Mary, our mother, to be those who feel neglected in the world. As we pray, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you. O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come. Before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful, the mother of the world incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy clemency, graciously hear and answer me. Amen. Are you bound by the chains of addiction? Is sickness and pain burdening your life? Are you tired and defeated? It's time to rise up and claim your victory. Christ.